All right, here we go, Filus to serve. Skylob, no, it's coming down. That's the drop shot, no chance, not within 10 feet. Wow, now you know what it was like for Kirill Garasime going Czech Republic last year. And he takes it late every time, a little bit of side spin on it, the ball doesn't go anywhere. Edge of the table for Filus. I'm still thinking about the point before, though. I mean, drop shots are so difficult to do. But one thing that Harimoto has consistently done is not allowed the opponent time to move back in because it looks like he's going to hit it when he plays it at the top of the bounce. Wow, what an unusual point. Looking like a drill out here with the defender attacking and the attacker blocking. Talk about role playing. Finally down the line, back again to the backhand. He got the chop off of the inverted rubber. Oh, top of the net and edge of the table, double happiness. Chitter chatter, chitter chatter, the crowd. Did you see that? Can you believe that? Well, it was super lucky, but hey, it's our guy, right? Pretty rare occasion, especially in crucial points, but it is relatively early in game number six. And the missed contact here from Harimoto, that dart chop again from Filus. And here's the timeout. Harimoto's timeout will be talking with the head coach of the men's team for Japan, Yosuke Kurashima. Two very high level experienced coaches in the corners. Again, it's not easy to play against the attacks, the forehand attacks of Filus, but if you can keep him away from the table, Harimoto so many times, you have to imagine this pattern when he looped it down the line, or he played it, let's say, from the forehand, cross court to Filus' forehand. He'd play one more even wider to the forehand. And then the next shot would either come to the short side of the table from Harimoto, he'd play it to the backhand deep. And if he had to use his backhand, he'd do the same, but he took it off the bounce aggressively. And I think percentage-wise, that's the combination. That is the choreographed point that Harimoto has won the most. At least out of anything that's come up several times, we will see. All right, head down, locked and loaded, ready to go. Ooh, we don't see too many like this get away. Push sits up a little bit and Filus, that backhand shot finds the net. First towel break and they're split dead even. Tries to go to the forehand, but it carries off wide. A little bit of side spin on that chop as well. One more time here. And it's coming from the middle of the body. We'll take that side swiping motion. Oh, so much pressure. Filu sees the drop shot coming and starts to run back into the table. Very soft shot there. That's the problem when you telegraph, when you show what you're going to do. The opponent has more time to set up and prepare. Well, this is right. Sort of what I was thinking, but for Harimoto it was dangerous because he had to play that forehand so late after it came back with topspin from Filus. Not so often we hear grunts on serves. You have to imagine there's a lot of spin on it. You've got an all-star team right there, table tennis players, coaches. 
from Hip Hop Helmut, Helmut Hompel in the background. Sports director Richard Prouza. Right down the line, Feely's making all three proud. Roscoff is the last of the Trinity there. Helmut Hompel, legend of table tennis. Coach Jorg Roscoff, Coach Timo Boll. I think it was Timo's first coach. Ooh, bit off the edge, but down the line works out for Hadimoto, the apology. Helmut Hampel still coaching. Coaching Ricardo Walter yesterday. I think possibly from time to time in the corner of Patrick Franziska. That's a tough one for Hadimoto. He has the time. If he punches down on that, takes it off the bouncer a little bit earlier, more aggressively, he wins this point. I'd say four times out of five. That's how it's been going so far. A change of heart, a decision at the last moment. Remember, this could be it for Hadimoto. He doesn't have a lot of room here, a lot of wiggle room. He loses this game, the match is over. His only chance is to come back now. He's down four. His opponent, Ruin Filu's two points away from victory. Oh, in the back, the very back of the table, the touch shot after all that work. Hadimoto can do everything right in this point for about 10 to 15 shots. And when it comes down to it at the end, Filus is right there for a long push to finish the rally. It is five match points for the world's top defender, Germany's own Ruin Filus, to move on. And he does it, the attack! This pumped Ruin Filus to the home crowd. He's got Roscoff and others on their feet. A strong performance from Harimoto, but an even stronger performance from the big.